In this problem, we're told at the end of a race, a runner decelerates from a velocity of 9 meters per second at a rate of 2 meters per second squared. A. How far does she travel in the next 5 seconds? B. What is her final velocity? And C. Evaluate the result. Does it make sense? Right, so the first thing you always want to do when solving kinematic problems like this is draw what's going on. So we have this runner, right, and she's going to be traveling at 9 meters per second, right? So in this interval, her initial velocity is 9 meters per second, right? And then for the next 5 seconds, right, she's going to run for 5 more seconds, and she's going to decelerate, right, for uh, 2 meters per second squared, right? So her acceleration is going to be equal to negative, right, so negative 2 meters per second squared, Right? And the reason it's negative is because she's decelerating at this rate. So her acceleration is negative 2 meters per second squared. Right? And then she's going to reach something right here. Right? And she's going to have some velocity, which we don't know. And she's also going to travel some distance delta x, which we also don't know. Right? So that's basically what's going on. Let's just go ahead and start with a. So for a, what we're trying to find is how far she travels in this next 5 seconds. Right? So we're trying to find how far something travels. Right? So if we write down our given, we're trying to find delta x, right? Which is basically how far something travels or the distance, which is just the change in position essentially. All right, so we're trying to solve for delta x. And what we want to write down is the kinematic variables we're given. So what do we know? So we know the initial velocity, right, of this interval is going to be nine meters per second. Uh, we know the time this interval is going to take, right, which is five seconds, okay? And then we also know the acceleration is going to be negative two, right, meters per second squared, right, because they're slowing down at a rate of two meters per second squared, right? So if you look here, we have three kinematic variables, and we can just go ahead and solve for the last one using one of the equations. So if you look at the equations, the one I think we should use is a C, or the third one right here, right, because notice we have v sub zero, we have t, and we have a. So what we can do is solve for delta x, which is what we want to find, right? So all we got to do is just plug it in. So delta x equals uh, v sub zero, which is nine, times t, which is 5, plus 1 half, times a, which is minus 2, right, multiply that by uh, t squared, so 5 squared. So if you want to go ahead and plug this in, you want to do 9 times 5, and then plus 0.5 times minus 2, and then times 5 squared, right? And so when you go ahead and do this, You're going to get that it equals 20, 20 meters. So delta x equals 20 meters. That's going to be right how far they travel. So this is your answer to A. So that's going to be your answer to A. Let's move on to B now. So that's how far they travel. B, we're trying to find what is her final velocity. So for this one, notice we solve for delta x. But instead, now what we're going to do is solve for v. So all the variables are the same, right? We can rewrite the given, but we're solving for the final velocity this time, right? And so uh, notice we have v sub 0, we have t, and we have a. And so if you look at our equations, the one we're going to use is v equals v sub 0 plus a times t. And the reason we're using that one, right, is because notice we have v sub 0, we have a, and we have t. So what we can do is solve for v or the final velocity. So v is just going to be equal to v sub 0, which is 9 plus a, right, so plus a negative is just minus it, so minus 2 times t, which is 5. So when you do this, you're going to get v equals minus 2 times 5 is minus 10, 9 minus 10 is just minus 1, so minus 1 meters per second. So this is going to be her velocity, right, uh, her final velocity at the end of this interval. So this is your answer to b, minus 1 meters per second. Now let's move on to c. So for c, they're asking, uh, evaluate the result, does this make sense? So let's think about this, right? So her velocity is going to be equal to negative. And what does that mean? So if your velocity is negative, that means you're traveling in the opposite direction, right? And if she's running a race, why would she run in the opposite direction, right? So it doesn't really make sense. So it doesn't make sense, right? Because she's traveling in the opposite direction, right? Because her velocity, or her final velocity is negative. So I guess for C, you would just say, yeah, it doesn't make sense because the final velocity is negative, meaning she would be traveling in the other direction, right? Because positive is to the right, negative is to the left. So yeah, that's basically your answer to C. You can write a, some version of that. But yeah, so those are going to be your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.